This is Matt from the Dice of the Round Table, and tonight, or on this video, is going to be a round table discussion with myself and G Man Sam. And the topic uh, is the almost disillusionment of uh, books and paper and pencil in tabletop wargaming and role playing games. So let's define what we're talking about. Why don't you go ahead and start? Okay. So, um, you know, years ago, we all had to have the books. We all had to write our character sheets. Um, we had to write our army list, even when it just came to tabletop miniatures. Um, we needed everything. We needed the seven to eight rule books in front of us, everything like that. Um, and at this point in life, with Kindle, with all these other major online book groups and downloading groups, you can pretty much get any book you desire for any game you want to play. And you never have to, uh, buy, you know, have a single hard copy book or pen and paper anymore. Um, I am very guilty of this. Every one of my bolt action books is now on PDF format. Sorry if you see me pull away. I'm keeping my cat off of my paint station. Um, but, uh, I'm playing Edge of the Empire on Discord. Um, the book is on my phone. Uh, my character sheet, I, you know, figured out what I wanted to do, inputted the stats on a website, it pumped out a character sheet for me, and I didn't have to do anything. Um, I don't have to write anything anymore by army list. Um, I go to the phenomenal website that we all know and love for bolt action, and we, you know, it's just... Pen and paper is gone and dead. You know, there's still people who swear by it, and you'll see it here and there, but three-quarters of people run their games from their phones or their computers. People have their character sheets for Dungeons & Dragons, Pathfinder, any of it, Call of Cthulhu. We have it all on our phones or some such. Oh, dropped a little piece, and uh, it's just the way of the future, and I, I have no real issue with it, obviously, because I use it. I love Discord. I love that I can play with people in England. Um, but it's gone. The, the days of owning a book and throwing it on the table before the game is gone. I wouldn't say it's completely gone. You're right. I'm being a little dramatic. Because I'll be honest, back in the yeah. 90s, um, not having a lot of players in the area, and I'm face coding some MDF buildings. Yes. That's, that's what I'm doing. Yes, I am building Demon Samurai. So, um, what I would honestly say is, like, now, this is going way back. AOL chat, Trillion, MSN Messenger, <laughs> Yahoo yes. Groups. Now, we didn't really have the luxury of servers yes. online that kept track of character sheets because I actually yes. ran several games, so everyone had to email me character sheets, and yes. then I would have to keep them and track them. But mm -hmm. playing digitally is nothing new in chat rooms. No, no, not at all. Um, going... Now, I would say that some of the things are a whole lot easier, like Obsidian Portal. Have you used that? I have not used Obsidian Portal. I'm, I'm very much hooked on Discord. I like the system on there. So, Obsidian Portal has a lot of um, interesting things because you, you can actually generate the, like, the adventure as you're going, as well as keeping okay. track of all your stats. Um, mm -hmm. And some people actually turn into a blog. Because you right. kind of blog from it. Um, now, okay, all that to go with doing it digitally is nothing anything new. Um, yes. I will say I do have, when it comes to role playing, um, and I, I miss, there used to be a website called pbm.com. Right. Ha, do you ever visit it? No, I have not. So pbm, pbm.com com used to be a play by email message board right and if you were doing an adventure campaign you actually created an ad for players and that's how really? you found players 
Yeah, it was a great system. Like, whatever you wanted to play, people could come up with that system, post it, and it was your way of finding games. And okay. your group was great because it kept track of everything, so you had a database and it did a mail server for you already. So, <laughs> I, miss, I miss those days. Because I used to do a whole lot. We used to do Trillium when I had like a character that wanted to do individual role play. We would just get on a messenger service and there you go. Um, so role playing games going paperless, that's nothing new for me. Um, I always yep. will enjoy the books because I personally enjoy thumbing through the books because I feel like going through a PDF is a pain in the butt. Trying yeah. to find what I'm looking for. When I can just flag it with a post in it. Gotcha. Um, but I can do the same thing with my PDF. It's not the same, though. It just isn't. To the point, I have two 5th edition handbooks for that purpose. Because I would have one of my characters, my players could have an extra one if they didn't have their own. Um, I see. Now, going to... War gaming? I don't <laughs> think paper should ever leave because at the end of the day, if you go to any tournaments, you should have lists for your competitor. It's That's almost, all well and good, but even you have run an event where your uh, I do believe your things had to be sent in through Easy Army, correct? Yeah, but they were also required to have it printed for their yes. opponents on the day of. So, oh, I agree, but what happened to the days of writing your army list from your book? <clears throat> what I'm saying is we still need the paper <laughs> from Easy Army. There's still uh -huh. a paper trail. Now, as far yes, as I understand. creating it, you're still supposed to double-check yourself against Easy Army, because Easy Army is still supposed to be not 100% accurate. Um, yeah, especially. but there was a very large uh, event that just took place on the West Coast where they found out that the guy that won three days later, they reviewed his list. Um, and because nobody had reviewed it because it came from Easy Army, they found out that he should not have been allowed to play. And that's the kicker. Everyone's supposed to check their list against the, the books. Everyone mm -hmm. that knows Easy Army, is, now that's on the T.O. Yes. That is completely on the T.O. I agree. The wargaming that gets me is, if I hurt anyone's feelings, you'll get over it, is um, mm -hmm. War Machine and Infinity. Mm. Because they are both heavily app-driven now with those stats and data and keeping track of damage, especially <laughs> War Machine and Hordes. Yeah. And I'm sorry, um... My phone, I actually just upgraded my phone, and I literally could not play War Machine or Hordes because my phone would die by the time the game was over. Yes. And that, to me, is ridiculous. That I agree with. So, um, so actually, for War Machine, I had cards for all my stuff, and I was using the dry erase markers and marking off my health. Um, that that's what I like the game is when you used to be able to do that and it wasn't weird. I enjoyed the cards, putting them in little clear sleeves and using dry erase markers. Same here. I enjoy doing that more than that. So, however, digital mm -hmm. is the way it's going. Uh, you brought up board games last time. Um, what's interesting with board games is we still haven't fully converted away to digital. Um, yes. Like, Mansions of Madness from Fantasy Flight, that was a, a clear attempt at almost doing it. Yep. Beating the app. XCOM's another one. Um, but we have not seen that take over as a standard at the moment. Correct. However, what's really cool is um, PC Gamer, I don't know if you've seen it, they were running a promo like commercial, mm -hmm. um, altered reality, or augmented reality. And basically right. it was a terrained up board 
mm-hmm. but it was um, projected on with tanks, and you were mm-hmm. doing a tank battle on a real table, so it was mm-hmm. augmented reality. Correct. Have you seen that video yet? I have. That got sent to me, uh, God, I can't remember when, but yeah. So, and Oops. that, when we talk about going paperless, I'm thinking if we go paperless, it's got to be something cool like that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I know you disagree with my points about, but it's very rare these days when I go anywhere um, to see a handwritten list, to see anything of the sort. But it's also, I don't see handwritten character sheets very often anymore. You don't get together before the game to write up your character sheets. You get together to compare your notes on the finalized ones that you made online. Um, when we play bolt action, when we're sitting around together, it, the majority of it is uh, we're pulling out our phones when we have a rule question to flip through the PDFs. Um, Not in our store. Good. We all get our rule books out, and mine's flagged out the wazoo. Yes. So and- it just depends. Like, you know, out here in Iowa, it's... Uh, it surprised me just how technologically caught up they're being out here because when I first moved here a couple of years ago, they didn't even have chip readers at most stores. And those were commonplace on the East Coast. Uh, so. Well, and then there's, so there's a podcast, Secret Cabal, that does role-playing stuff. And what's right. interesting is it comes down, again, I think mainly this is going down to your group and your history, but it's basically mm-hmm. a group of people that have played RPGs for a while, but they still, mm-hmm. whenever they do a new system, they spend one day doing nothing but character generations and backgrounds. Good. So I think it really comes down to just how the group is focused on it. Yeah. Uh, the group's dynamic and everything like that, which you're 100% correct at. But, again, the digital aspect, I can play with anyone and find a, find someone to play with very easily. Yeah, no, there is, if you read on Reddit, on the D&D groups and everything like that, there is brand new players who have only ever played on Discord or other sites like that. They are D&D players and all sorts of other games. And they have not spent a single other moment gaming except for on Discord. Which, I don't know. That that speaks to, I think, a totally different aspect of our current society system. Because everything's so digital and impersonal. Yes. Um, and that's what I'm talking about. That's where war gaming is going. Is Yes, we're going to still, very luckily, we have no choice but to have... The, the connection face to face, which is wonderful for wargaming, um, we'll never lose that. But I think we're going to lose the the army list. We're going to lose the pen and paper. Um, I think we're going to end up at some point losing rule books, and they're just going to be done as PDFs. It's just a feeling. It's just my thoughts. No, there. Okay, okay. If we're gonna talk about rule books, how about this is the thing I don't get about rule books. And Mantic just did this with Kings of War Third Edition. Ugh. All right, go on. Sorry, we're talking about Mantic. They released the new rule book in hardback. Yes. Six months later, here comes a softback. Yes. And it's like you should have just did softback to begin with. Yes. And it, it, it's and it's like a third of the price for Correct. getting the PDF option. Um, mm-hmm. Now, the other side effect is, um, which, <coughs> so Warlords of Arahorn from Warlord. Yes. Um, they had a massive FAQ hit that they put mm-hmm. digitally. Right. However, if you bought the rule book, you're screwed. Mm-hmm. You gotta have to have the FAQ. However, if you buy the PDF, the PDF has automatically been updated. Mm-hmm. And it's like, 
Why did you do one and not the other? You don't realize that they do that with all of their PDF rule books? Well, that was just the latest one I read about. Yes. Now, uh, if you watch, and it's something that they haven't broadcast, but I've been watching it, it works really well. Um, they, uh, they had some new uh, FAQ for um, Battle of France book. And so I went into my book, and it said, updated on so-and-so date with revision, blah, 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 blah. I was like, fancy that. So there's the question, like, how much of it is it convenience versus I'm getting more for my money? Yeah. Mine is more convenience because I didn't know that was part of it when I bought it. I truly enjoy I, – I get a lot of questions all day long while I'm at work, while I'm with my family, when I'm out and about, um, those rare instances. Um, and where I get messages from other players asking me rules questions. And if it's something I'm not sure of, I'm pretty thankful that I have uh, my rule books on my phone. Now, how much are they paying you for all your rules directions? Well, oh, no, it's... You're funny. Well, uh, it's paying you, right? Yeah, that's it. Mr. Know-it-all. You got your, that's your Twitter account, right, Mr. Know-it-all? Yes, that's uh, that's my Twitter account, Mr. Know-it-all. There you go. I guess you and I are going to have a fight here soon, I guess. I'm, I'm, are you sure? Yeah, I think you and I are going to have to go out to the list and joust. Uh, uh -oh. so, well, mm -hmm. we'll make sure you can get lists so you're you're equal height. Oh. <laughs> I'm not really worried. I figure if I flick you in the fingertips because you won't stop chewing your fingernails. Ah, there are used to being the abuse. What's one more piece uh -huh. of abuse? Gotcha, gotcha. People biters all day, so what's that going to be? No, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Not going to be any oh. different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but, yeah, I mean, there, I don't know, ever since we've gone to the digital age, this is getting into a philosophy more thing, but, um, mm -hmm. There's always been that argument of, like, how much are we going to go digital versus face-to-face -face loss. And at the same time, the more we go digital, the more it seems the value of face-to-face -face time has increased with people. Which is why wargaming is always going to last. Tabletop wargaming with miniatures will always last because you can do all this list building and book reading and all this stuff. But... Until you face somebody with your perfect army, quotations and winks and, you know, um, eyebrow raises, and uh, but you have to face another person and let the dice decide your fate. And that's my favorite part about all gaming, and going back to the last time subject, is dice. Um, you can, you know, have every single digital thing you want, um, but without the human component of an opponent, with their own tactics, their own deployment, um, their own dice rolling, everything like that, you're you're nothing until you have that human element. Well, and the other thing I like is um, Star Wars Armada has this, I think, a little bit more um, because you have like the easy list that everyone builds off of for the internet net listing, but mm -hmm. then you'll get that one person that goes, "Hey." I'm doing this that no one uses, and no one's ready for it. And it's like, oh, that perfect list has one flaw, and it was this crazy list. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know, I don't hear that too much in bold action, for example. Uh, yes. But it does happen when you play certain people or you get into those metas of different areas. Yes. Um, we'll also, like, you know, there's not a lot of power units in bolt action. I like how we, we are just scattering all over the wind here. Um, but there's no real power unit in uh, bolt action, because first of all, it's a random um, initiative system. Yeah. Um, so because people are like, oh, bamboo spear fighters are, you know, overpowered, blah, 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 blah. Well, if they're not pulling any dice to activate them, and if you're dropping mortar rounds on them, does it really matter? They still die. Yeah. 
it's still a dice game. Um, and if you roll a 12 so, on an order check, they still snafu. Yes. So. <clears throat> nope, I agree. But no, I, I do see, like, you do not see as many paper character sheets to get back to original. And that's, I think, one thing that has slightly bothered me, but I am very guilty of it. So people don't think I'm judging. Um, it's, uh, we are very much losing a lot of contact with sitting around together and playing in a lot of these games. And um, I see no fault with Discord or any of these online playing, you know, uh, websites and apps. Um, again, because I use them. I'm just saying it, it is definitely pulling us away from the let's all gather up at, you know, Joe's house and have a bunch of really terrible food and drinks all night long and get Cheeto dust everywhere and have a good time. Well, see, on that, I, I see again, I, I value the face-to-face -face so much that I go out of my way. So next Friday, we're actually having a board game night here. Ooh. Pots of spaghetti on, someone's bringing pizza from, I think, Little Caesars or whatever they're going to bring, and that's what we're going to have, sit around and just play a whole bunch of board games all evening. That sounds perfect. And I don't have that many people around me right now that are doing RPGs. So. Yes. There was someone that wanted to, but then they backed out. Mm -hmm. So, but... Um, yeah, uh, it's just no one has patience, no one has time, but everyone wants time is, mm -hmm. I think, the byproduct that you're looking at. Yes. Um, um, the other part of it is, is uh, and we're not going to get political, even though I really want to about this one, but not everybody can afford hard copy books anymore. Um, and PDF is definitely allowing people to still continue gaming. Um, even though finances may not be the best. I mean, you know, you can have a household with two working adults and two and a half children, and it's still, you know, the, that rule book is a $55 purchase that just might cut into something that's useful. Well, most likely is. Mm -hmm. um, well, you can get a PDF for 14 or 15 bucks. Yeah, I grew up on second edition D&D, so all those books... Our group, we had several people that bought books, mm -hmm. and so they had all the books that way. But I think that's a lost art of having massive amounts of books that you can burn through too. Yes. Um, I'm just making sure my boss didn't message me. Nope. Okay, we're good. No broken washing machines. Uh, we are getting hit with really bad snowstorm right now, so I'm waiting for the message of get ready. We're going to go remove snow. Oh, you're having fun. Yes. We're having no snow, so. Tomorrow's high is 14 degrees. So today's snow, show, snow removal, tomorrow broken washing machines. Yes. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I think. No, did I do washing machines today? No, but anyways. That's a little far off subject, but um, <laughs> no, I uh, I am definitely a uh, a fan of the digital hate did the world becoming digital. There, there's the words. I'm still not Sorry. sure how I like digital. I, I get it. But there's just mm -hmm. a value in having the paper and doing the math because you know what we're getting stupid when it comes to math. What? Can you uh, do Ohm's Law there, buddy? All right, then. Find a hobby. <laughs> hey, I miss That's doing character only... sheets. Yeah? Yeah. I enjoy making character sheets up. Even though I I'm... used to. I don't know. <laughs> the world has changed. D&D is still my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, Star Wars... I can see the allure of the app just because of all the, um, it's not feats, what is it, the, the different, uh, is it feats in that system? It's essentially feats, I forget the word, I'd have to look yeah. at it real quick. Talents. Um, Talents. 
Yes. Talents. But because the talent trees are the way they are, it almost feels mm -hmm. like having the app would make life easier because you're trying to figure out where you're going. And instead of saying, hey, mm -hmm. uh, instead of looking at all seven of these, I just need to look at these two. Yes. So the talent and, tree was going. Before this, they tried doing the cards. Um, Edge of the Empire did. They tried doing all the cards and stuff. Well, and I thought that was cool, actually. I did too, but that's defunct apparently. Well, and I really like so. the um, the other one I liked is the NPC cards. Yeah. Um, I know they had like the critical hit deck for vehicles. They got uh, the different classes. Because um, D&D did that too. They have the um, each um, spellcasting class can get their own deck of cards. Yes. Which... I don't know. I like that idea. But well, 40K has something similar. <coughs> so. And there's parts of that where the paper's never going to go away. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. At some point, if they can, if they can solve the problem of battery usage, I'll be happier. Yes. Until then, let me have paper. That I agree with. Um, just keeping my army list open or easy army on my phone still drains my battery. You know what I mean? If I'm trying to play a BA game and I want to look at my stuff and using my PDFs and everything like that, it definitely eats my battery alive. And forget if you're doing a tournament doing four games or three games. Yes. <clears throat> so... But yeah, I, I will admit, though, I have not sat and did a BA list by paper. I've always used Easy Army. So, but then again, that was on the computer, so. But then as soon as I'm done, I print my list. Every list I make and use at a game store is in here. Okay. Because I might talk about how much I enjoy it, uh, but I think you are realizing that I am somewhat wistful, and I I definitely miss the fact that we used to write out our army list, bring them to the to the game event. Um, I miss it with my Space Marines that I played years ago, and we used to sit down and talk about our armies, and we'd go over each other's list to make sure you know nobody was a, a dirty, filthy cheat. Um, and then, you know, we'd sit down and play our game once everything was copacetic. But everybody made their army list. You wrote it down and you brought it in. Or you typed it up on your computer. And you printed it out. And you brought it in to hand to somebody. Now, I will say I've done that with Armada. Star Wars Armada. Because I will print a list. Mm -hmm. keep it, and then after I play with it, I'll tweak it. So I keep the different versions of it. With my uh, notes, with how the list played and what needs to change. Because I feel like Bold Action and Armada have some things in common for me because it's, it is kind of chess-like chess as yes. what activates. The only difference is Armada, there's no random initiative. It is a you-go-I-go. Go, and yes. so you run out. Um, but that one, for some reason, I will just take to a little bit more serious level of, like, tweaking little things to see how it does. Um, yeah. Because I still feel like that system where you get to pick your objectives mm -hmm. is what makes or breaks that. Because not only are you trying to bid for first player but you're also looking at the objectives the other player has when you decide that. Well, of course. Because uh -oh. I have not played any other game where that's the case. Because everything else, the tournament already has the objective or the scenarios set up. Correct. But, um, because Legion brought that in. They brought that in for, um, Legion, where they have objective yeah. cards. Okay. Um, well, Today, um, I've been talking about uh, going into a different game system, 
Um, and weird enough that this happened today. And I was talking to a local about it, uh, this different game company I was going to get some miniatures for. And he goes, you know, what are you going to choose? And I said, well, I'm going to get the book first. I'm actually going to get the hard copy book because that's the way I used to do it with this game. And I want to look at the units and what I can do with it and what upgrades. So that way, each because it's a little bit more costly of a game, I want each purchase to be more precise. And he goes, oh, don't worry about it. Go on Battle Scribe. And they have every single book on there. And you can just build your army and adjust everything. And I was like, oh, oh okay. What game are you talking about? A very expensive one. Uh, that doesn't tell me much. Uh, Games Workshop, uh, Warhammer 40K. Oh. Well, it's only as expensive as you let it be. Yes. If you go by... Yes, some, and... Uh, um, mm-hmm. If you go by... Um, what is it? The, stu- the specialty stuff. Um... Forge World? Yeah. If you go by Forge yeah. World, yeah, forget it. Yes. Yeah. That that's gonna rack up your bill quick. Yes. But uh some of the other stuff, nah, eh, it's just what you put into it. Yes. No, but I was just very shocked that on Battle Scribe you could literally find every single army book already inputted and all you have to do is just adjust what gear you want them to have. But Battle Scribe's good like that. Yeah. I'm not too surprised. But the issue is um, with Battle Scribe, are they updating it frequently enough with the FAQ and chapter approved changes? Yes, actually. He uh, he actually, one of the newest updates for uh, 40K on there has a personal note from him telling people that it is proper and he has done the right thing and you need to back off. It says it on the update. Hmm. Yeah. So, are you jumping in, or are you just? I have a lurker. Hi. And it's her first appearance. <laughs> well, hello. How are you? Okay. And it's the queen of dice at the round table. <laughs> sure. And you are? I'm Jesse. This is my wife. Hello. She has not appeared in a video yet. This is her first one. It's because of me. Yes. Not me. (laughs) But it's because I said we were going to have an intervention about your fingernails. I think I won a lot of points today. (laughs) You think? (laughs) Ugh. But, yeah, I think we're going to have to get everybody you know and love, and then me as well, just because I'm going to make a scene. And we're going to sit around a table, a round table, <laughs> and we're going to discuss your fingernails. Good luck. Uh, thank you. Now, see, Jessie might be on your side because she loves her Kindle, she loves her digital books, and she'll read mm-hmm. digital books all the time. Not all the time. When you have the chance. I do. If there's no physical book in the house and I want to read a book, I'll go find an electronic one. So why have we never owned a a PDF of a rule book? Because it's easier to flip through a rule book than to have to scroll through a whole book. Look at that face you gave you. You scroll through. You push the little search button and you type in exactly what you're looking for and it pops up for you. Unless you play for the wrong search term, you think she's like not what you're looking for. <laughs> oh, the more you play in the game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've done that. Where's that rule that talks about and you, you know, you're flipping through trying to find it and it's not even what you thought it was. Oh. See? That's not me. No, there, there is a satisfying thing about flipping through a book to search for something. That I can agree with. Um, I do, you know, there are times when I'm like, well, let me go ahead and order these 19 rule books that I have and get them in paper copy. And then I go, no, I, I'm not that rich. <laughs> no. No. You know, Kindle and 
uh, Google Play books and everything. I mean, I get them for 14 bucks a piece now. Well, and part of the issue too is space. Like mm -hmm. when Matt and I first moved in together, he's like, I want to own 400 books. And I'm like, where are you going to put those? So I bought them a Kindle because there was yeah. no space for 400 books. Mm -hmm. And I'm slowly buying books. And he's slowly buying books. I'm slowly buying mm -hmm. uh, the X-Wing series again. Oh, yeah, I used to have that. Courtney uh, also had me clear out a lot of my books and put them on Kindle because of the same issue. Space is an issue. Well, my Kindle doesn't work no more, so. You know you have Kindle on a smartphone, right? Why do you have to ruin it? <laughs> Don't worry, he gets mad at me because I use my Kindle on my smartphone. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's it's very effective, like, you know, like I was telling him, I have people message me during the day asking rules questions, and I have my rule book on the phone. It give, Within five seconds, I can throw an answer at him. And then he got all rude about, you know, that I should charge people, and, you know, very smarmy as usual, very hipster of him. Well, at the end of the day, though, it goes back to I don't want to be sitting on my electronic device looking at a rule book or reading. And part of it is... I used to sell glasses. And I know what the screen does to your eyes, regardless of what you're wearing. And that's honestly part of my thing, too, is like, I know what those screens do to your eyes. See, you can do all that all you want. <laughs> but the truth is, the stuff ruins your vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, luckily, I turned my hearing aids off about 30 minutes ago, so... What old man? Uh, you opened that door. I did. I did. I did. So, all right. Well, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm about to go out and do snow removal finally. Oh, he texted you? No. They're in yeah. the middle of the storm. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, you know, work. It pays for miniatures. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up, and then um, I'll show you. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like it if this was of interest. This is a little bit on the longer side. Don't worry about him. He's a weird dude on the other side there. Um, it's amazing what people will do when they sit, you offer them air. So, um, But otherwise, thanks for watching. This is Matt from the Dice of the Roundtable signing off.